we've been interested in cancer immunology in Southampton for many years, in fact, before I got there, which was at the late 1990s. And there's a long track record of investigation into how you can get the immune system to lock onto tumours and how we can manipulate it in a way to treat people with cancer, which goes back 40 years or more. But what's exciting in the last few years is we've started to see real results in the clinic from some of these ideas. The new Centre for Cancer Immunology in Southampton is going to be a focus for us to bring together really exciting discovery science and to expand our basic discovery science at the same time as bringing it closer to clinical investigation and taking these ideas into the clinic faster than ever before. That's going to be an asset for Southampton, for our patients locally, but it's also going to be an important component of cancer research in the UK more widely and indeed globally. I'm very positive about the science. I think it's an exciting time. I think we have to be absolutely clear about what the limitations are of any of these things and to recognise that this is not going to replace surgery, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, the more conventional ways of treating cancer. This is a new and different way of treating some of the cancers that we've found most difficult in the past, such as melanoma, bladder cancer, lung cancer. So it's important to remain focused, to remain realistic about what these things can do. But I am very excited by the science and I think we are seeing the opening of a new era of treatment which is going to add to our existing armamentarium of treatments for cancer. In cancer immunology specifically I think we're going to see a decade of dense investigation of different ways of manipulating immune responses using not just the antibodies that we're currently testing but vaccines in combination with those and probably a lot of the small molecule drugs which alter the way the immune system works as well. So we're going to see more and more systemic treatments coming through but also we're going to focus increasingly on detecting cancer earlier, making sure people are aware of the things that they can do to reduce their own personal cancer risk. So this is a problem that we need to come at from a variety of different directions.